I'll tell you where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Under the victim's body? Dun, 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 Order. Order. No, no, wait a second. Hold on. I, I didn't confess or confirm anything. Your Honor, I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince grabbed the culprit's glasses. The culprit knew that he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What I didn't realize was that they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. And we have an explanation. M Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicting the witness as the real murderer? Of course. That is precisely what I'm doing. And yeah! Oh! Ah. And now, uh, they're not so epic compared to Cornered's theme, but at the same time, they're still a good theme. I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Turns out the cell phone was the key to this case, after all. Anyway, now is our chance to deep six this guy. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah, this is so exciting watching you work again. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Order! Order! Objection! Your Honor, the defense the defense is making a mockery of this court. They saw it grant us down. He accuses the witness of being the murderer. Yeah, yeah that's right. I'm I'm no criminal. This this further fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. What? That? That's easy. Um. Uh. For example, some, the name the victim wrote. How about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah. And even it's it like you can read that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. So basically, you were saying that in order to make the defendant look guilty. The real criminal used the victim's right hand to write the name on the ground. But, 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 wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant No. Otherwise, how else would the person know her name was Maggie? Ah, uh, Maggie. It's a good point. The witch didn't even know no, uh, Miss Fair before the trial. Ah, I forgot. Was there any way the creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? There was a way. It would be best if I proved that the witch had a chance to learn. The first name was Maggie. Now, would the defense please present its case? How could the witness have known the defendant's name? And we have a reason. Take that! Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you... How did you... Objection! Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with... Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of question? If there is some relation between this witness cell phone and the murder... I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And she also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie! And we have a conclusion, sort of. We're getting there. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Oh, um, <laughs> but you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake? My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. It's a mistake that can only occur if you knew what was... All you knew was how her name sounded. <gasps> I can't do eek. Eek! Order, order, objection! But, but, Your Honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is? Very simple, Your Honor. So you usually would not kill someone without a reason. So I have no reason to kill anyone. That's absolutely correct. Don't have a motive. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, can you explain what motive the witness could have had? It's very simple, Your Honor. Uh, are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Alan, please present to the court proof that the witness had a motive. Take that! Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this, a list? Well, yeah. These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone that the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. Oh yeah, we're on fire! 
Not literally on fire, because that would be painful. You, you looked up all those numbers? Of course. A list of phone numbers were stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to the people who are members of a certain con artist group. What, 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 what? C con artists? Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? Th this is, this is an outrage. This is an outrage. An invasion of privacy. Look up the phone numbers on past as far as the worst crime to murder. R I'm not even gonna bother, damn it. You just said that looking up phone numbers was worse than murder. Are you high? Do you feel blame? I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want for you is to tell me... Yeah, I think he is compa Yeah, it's like comparing this guy to Charles Manson. That is how stupid that is. That's how stupid that sounds. All I want is for you to tell us what this list is about. Do you think that you, any of you can know what it's like to be a fine man like me? Objection! Your Honor, this, this, is, this is unjust battery of the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the numbers of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is... a member of that group. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. No! All of your friends' phone numbers are stored right on this phone. If anyone wants to look into these phone numbers, it will be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. No. This is too much! Hmm. That does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington, would you care to explain? I... Um, I... I got you now. I... I... That... I... That... Police officer... Objection! Your Honor! What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this... This is... This... This is unjust badgering of the witness! You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. Please? <laughs> Please, let's think about the concept of that phone call. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up. I can give this back. The defendant had already promised she would return the phone. Is that all Mr. Wellington had to do was meet Sweet Bird to get his phone back? And then we need to kill anyone? That's a valid point. What's the defense think about this point? Hmm. If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. Slimebot saw something of the crimes that made him commit murder. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? Hmm, well, if Mr. Wellington wants to his phone in a very friendly manner. He was promised his phone, so he would have been unfriendly to the defendant. I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. And I know what it is! Said so Mr. Wright, what was the something that didn't agree with the witness? What do you think would scare someone so much? By the way, here's Richard Wellington's profile. A self-proclaimed drifting virtuoso who's still looking for the right college. Age 22, gender male. What do you think would scare someone very badly? Who is a criminal and then goes to pick up their cell phone? What would make them panic and commit murder? It would be if the person that they met had a police officer accompanying them. Take that! What Mr. Wise saw was the victim. The victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on this date right after a shift was over. No time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh. The guard that picked up my phone is with a policeman. He couldn't have known that he was going out. Oh, you be... He was a... Oh, I... I'll get there eventually. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before he returned his phone. If he did anything suspicious, yes, he might run a check on my phone. It's mine, it was possible they already run a check on the phone. And he went into a panic, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Wow. Damn, man. That's cold. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking... Mm, it seems the truth has come out at last. It's Mr. Wellington, you are. Ha. Ah. <laughs> Impressive. Not bad for a person with third-rate education. What's that supposed to mean? The evidence! Evidence! Uh, that guy's really creeping me out. Oh, you've been waving around and talking about this. That suspicious cell phone. Suspicious phone number. This suspicious con group that saw on that phone. We said the phone's really mine. Where's your proof? Your evidence? You want proof that this phone is yours? 
<laughs> I already told you earlier, but I lost, I've already found it. You don't even have the size idea who the phone your hand belongs to. You can't be sure there is a mind, you simpleton. What? <laughs> it feels good to see you squirm. We do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. This phone is it. Without knowing that, it's me as his evidence. Your Honor, it's bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. Hmm, this cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's gotta be. Maybe. Phone stored numbers. This phone has the names of numbers of those in the current group. It's memory. I could show them to you, Your Honor. Oh, must have worried that. I don't believe this. What are you talking about? Uh, what are we trying to determine is who that phone belongs to. Who cares about what the phone numbers are stolen? Like? Besides, who knows? Maybe you went and added some of those numbers in yourself. The witness is quite right. I'm afraid I have to reject the defense proposal. That jerk is back to his arrogant, annoying self again. And essentially, yeah. I, I do make mistakes, but I figured it out eventually. I got it. We should check for fingerprints. Fingerprints? Yes, Robert. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on this phone. Nick, don't you remember when you got it from me? You wiped it off. I what? So, I it, so wiped it. I wiped it. Pretty thoroughly, too. Hmm. <laughs> it's always so much fun watching Federer trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can check the number store on this phone. must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. I forgot to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mr. Wellington. What's this? From the way you talk to me, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. Where did you finally find your cell phone? Uh, <laughs> you were too much. No idea what I'm talking about. I, I, oh my god, now I remember! We travel back in time. Well, my head still probably wasn't hurting at that point. Ah, I thought I hung up. Oh, good. I finally found it. So that's when. What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get as far. If you don't do something quick, he's gonna go off scot free. I know this phone has to be his, but how am I supposed to prove something like that? Right, prove who the governor of that cell phone is. Your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It's like you came up a penny short. Where? Where did I go wrong? No, you don't. Don't blame yourself, you're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? Something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? Court hereby concludes the cross examination. <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen pay goodbye. I first reservation at Ultra Fancy Restaurant near Beside Town. Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bon appetit. You douchebags. Do. Raise an objection. Hold it!